guys, so today I'm going to show you my mum doing my hair. Hey guys, it's Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today we have Princess Anya. I'm going to be showing you how I do her 4B hair. Her hair is actually quite dry. What we're going to do, grease it up, style it up. Should we like, begin Anya? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can see where I get it from, isn't it? Yeah, I get it from her. I'm going to use all the three products that I used in my last video. This. Jam. Yes, that's right. We're going to use jam gel as well. And then we're going to use... Dax. Yeah, it's just Dax. Dax. <laughs> so it's Dax hair grease. So for those of you asking, if I could get my daughter back on camera, here she is. And the reason why I'm going to show you me doing her hair is because her hair is different to mine. Mine is between... 3B to 4A and her hair is 4B with hints of 4A in there. So this is Anya's hair. So right at the root it's very moisturised but as you can see her hair gets very tangled. This is a characteristic of 4A to maybe 4C hair. She has a slight curl pattern. She's got beautiful waves. She's got beautiful hair. What I'm going to do guys just to get going I'm just going to use the pink. What I'm going to do is rub it on her ends of her hair because obviously those are the oldest parts. As you can see, these little parts of her hair, they like to curl up a lot. So what we're going to do with that, guys, we're going to take the soft brush. And we're just going to brush it up. Just slightly. I need a rough brush. <laughs> we're just going to try and get the hair going in all one direction. So sweetie. Okay, so now the hair's in one direction. It's not actually going to stay like that because her hair is very curly at the front okay so then what we need, what we're going to need to do is I'm just going to quickly detangle these parts of her hair and you just want to start from the ends and work your way up so already because she has that pink lotion in her hair it's easier to detangle and there's no ouches yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the jam take about <laughs> this much <laughs> and I'm going to apply it how I applied it on my hair in my last video. So what I'm going to do, I just want to apply it to those parts and go in the direction that I want the hair to stay. So I'm going to apply it in those areas where they don't want to stay up. As I said, her hair is 4B and as you can see already, her hair is sleek and very nice. And it's not tight, look, I've let go and her hair is still sleeked. Okay, her hair is very sleek. The little curls are popping through the waves. Can you see that? And that's what we want. So I'm going to do the same on the other side with the jam. Just to go in the direction of the star that I want. Now we're not laying any baby hairs or anything like that. We're just making a beautiful, neat, cute style. And I'm just going to brush it all up in that one direction. So now we've got it all smooth and sleek. I'm gonna take a hairband. I'm not actually gonna do it in a twist today. I'm just gonna do it in a tiny bump. So even though her hair looks tight, it's not. It's just sleek and smooth. Turn your head to that side. Okay, and turn your head to that side. That side. Okay. Right. So what I'm gonna do again, I'm just gonna quickly comb this top part out so as you can see even though I've combed it it's shrunken and nothing wrong with that guys but we just want to comb it so it's all uniform and her hair is super moisturized because of the pink lotion just gonna twist it into that shape into the shiny bump and this maintains the moisture guys I'm not going to hold it with another hairband, I'm just going to twist it upon itself and it stays in. Do you want to show it on the top? So now it's time for the back. Do you want to turn around for me? Right, so as you can see the ends are a little bit dry. I'm just going to coat that with some pink lotion. Just because our hair is very fragile and I don't want to do anything that will lead to her hair breaking. So as you can see her hair is quite bunched up. And that's just because of shrinkage and over time wearing this style. I'll take this hairband out. I'm going to brush all the little flyaways. And these parts of the, her hair at the back are dry. We want to moisturise them. 
and I'm going to use the pink to moisturize the back of her hair and the ends. Okay, we just want to brush that upwards. Again, already guys, you can see how nice and smooth, moisturized and shiny through here, how shiny that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to saturate this back piece with the pink, especially the ends as I said. Before I put the hairband in, I'm going to then apply some more jam gel. As I mentioned in my last video, this is the stuff that's been keeping my daughter's hair going. And basically you just want to sleep down. This is, oops, sorry. <laughs> and this is one thing I love guys about the old school products. When you mix them together, there is no balling. And it's the old school products. I'm not talking about mixing new school and old school products together. I mean the old school products. There you go. Look at that, guys. So now I've got her hair nice and sleek. Okay, so we're going to have another shiny bump here. But this time, because this one's thicker, we're going to secure it with the hairband. Okay, so we've got this now. Very cute, guys. Very neat and very sleek. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take my Dax. I'm just going to grease her scalp. So I'm just going to do this line. And I'm just going to do the peripheral. Just do these bits at the back. And there you go, all done. Do you want to turn around for me, missus? So guys, if you like my mom doing my hair, comment down below and subscribe and give us a huge thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, what she said. I didn't, I didn't tell her to say that. Right guys, so and can we give them a little side turn? So let's Oh, look at that girly. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.